time to FaceTime Billy C. <clears throat> he's the boss of this whole operation. <laughs> Hopefully he's not sleeping, but it'll be a good phone call. Hello. Are you sleeping? No, I'm wide awake. Big buck down. No shit. You in Marion County? No, I'm down in Decatur. Right, dude. I figured if you were FaceTiming me this early, you already had something down. <laughs> yeah, it was freaking nuts, dude. Alright, well, it's the morning of November 14th. I, as I was getting set up in the tree, all my cam camera gear and stuff, there was a big shooter that just walked to the north probably five minutes ago. So I'm just going to right away try to grunt him back in, see if he comes right back. That. Yes. You got freaking joking me. That was the freaking craziest time of my life. Holy. Wow. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. Oh. 
It's been such a tough season for me. God, it's been such, such a tough season. I'm on my second to last day of vacation off work. This is a brand new farm, my first time on it. We hung this stand along with another one, probably 75 yards to the north of here, uh, about five days ago. My dad hunted here twice, saw a few small bucks. Big buck down. Seriously? Yeah. Where at? At Marlin's, the new spot. No kidding. Yeah. But huh. he ran over to the south. So. Okay. Well, you might have fun getting him out of there. Yeah, I know. You have to get a hold of somebody. I might. I might try to get a hold of Ben Saul. He doesn't work on work or on weekdays. I don't oh, think. Oh so. yeah. I'll probably try to, I, I'd imagine he's hunting, so I'll probably call him and, or text him and. All right, bud, well, see good he, job. Hopefully you find him. Thank you. Oh man, he's keep, a nice one. Keep me informed. All right, will do. All right. All right, love, love you. Love you too, Dad. Bye. Bye. Time to FaceTime Billy C. <clears throat> he's the boss of this whole operation. Hopefully he's not sleeping, but it'll be a good phone call. Hello. Are you sleeping? No, I'm wide awake. Big buck down. No shit. You in Marion County? No, I'm down in Decatur. Right, dude. I figured if you were FaceTiming me this early, you already had something down. <laughs> yeah, it was freaking nuts, dude. All right, well, we're back at the farm here. Billy C. showed up. Uh, he he drove down from uh, Ames, and uh, he's going to help me recover this deer. Um, we're not expecting him to be too terribly far. Uh, look, last time I, I could see him, he looked like he was slowing down a little bit. So, um, But we're going to make our way in and go to point of impact and go from there. here by the tree stand that I shot him out of uh, this is the path that he came in on originally uh, he crossed the fence and then he came up into this thick stuff and I had to call him back in um, and there's a creek right down over the bank there and I shot him right there by the creek so we're gonna ease our way down to that creek there and uh, get on the blood trail see if we can't find him He didn't go anywhere. Nope. Oh boy. Oh yeah. That's a stud, dude. Oh. He's been dead a while. Oh, oh yeah. That's a real nice eight. 
Boy, I bet he didn't even go 75 yards. But pretty much right in the last spot I saw him, so. Well, I tell you what, it's been a tough season for me. And I'm just so thankful to, that I actually had an opportunity to harvest a good buck this season. I've had a good, uh, a few good uh, encounters. Uh, had a couple big eight pointers I was hunting up around home uh, in Marion County. And I saw them both, but just could never catch up with them. And then uh, a couple weeks ago, my dad was down here checking trail cameras and we noticed there was a bunch of buck activity going on down here and several good bucks. So I took my vacation and headed down here and they just, pretty sure they were in lockdown. It was just a grind all, pretty much all week. And then the past couple days have been picking up. Uh, yesterday I finally had an encounter with a shooter. My dad had an encounter with a shooter. And then this morning it just all came together. So this is uh, was my first sit on this farm. We hung tree stands in here on Saturday and uh, we must pick the right spot. Because <laughs> uh, this was the first and only deer I saw hunting this ground and he's a pretty, pretty dang good one. So I'm really proud of him. Awesome deer.